With respect to comments about extremism, let me be clear. Extremism is not tolerated in any branch of the United States military. If there are reported issues, our leaders will address them immediately in accordance with established department policies and in co coordination with law enforcement. There's 10 that were identified by the FBI, and I, and I can't speak to the level of vetting that they do, but I know it's, uh, they said it's a standard they do for all inaugurations for participants. Um, with the other two, they're separate from those 10 for a total of 12. One was identified by the chain of command, and another one was uh, identified through anonymous uh, reporting. So I, I don't want to speak for the, the vetting that's underway, but if uh, our law enforcement partners flag an individual uh, based on their determination that they see something uh, and they pass it to us, um, we're not even asking what the flag was. We're just removing them. So I can't speak for that. Um, within the ranks, um, I, I think that it's uh, uh, what we've seen is, is inappropriate comments and texts uh, have been it. I don't think that we have a, a handbook on, on what our thresholds for, for uh, inappropriateness at this point. We are just taking action against uh, action to remove individuals uh, if there is some indication uh, that would uh, indicate that they should not be here at this time. Uh, this is obviously an unusual situation in which uh, it is all hands on deck and we're leaving no stone unturned. Uh, but we are confident uh, that uh, there will be no uh, opportunity to identify any potential threat uh, left done. And so we're going to do all we can. We're going to partner with uh, the Secret Service and the FBI and others to ensure that uh, we're all doing everything we can. We're all rowing in the same direction, and that is to ensure that the President-elect and the Vice President-elect have a safe and secure inauguration tomorrow at 12 noon.